After more than three weeks in Calgary, Dave Gagno is ready for more familiar sights. I can't wait to go back to Yellowknife. Gagno is one of hundreds of homeless people from Yellowknife who were forced to flee as the wildfire crept closer. Now, with the city reopen, there's the monumental task of tracking people down and organizing flights and rides back home. It is much more challenging because um, in some cases there's individuals who um, may not have uh, a cell phone or a cell phone that's working. Well, we typically serve about 50 meals, lunchtime and supper time here. The local Salvation Army has been cleaning and getting ready to support their return. And they're probably in their own mind wondering, what just happened to me? We're going to make sure that we have staff available to talk with them and more importantly listen to what their concerns are. This local youth shelter helped evacuate 17 young people and a baby to a small northern Alberta community, packing the days with activities. An intentional move so the youth would not be drawn to the streets of bigger cities. Care during the transition back is also top of mind. They really liked, you know, having people 24-7 talk about, you know, relationship problems that they may be having or, um, you know, challenges with uh, family dynamics. We're dedicated to try and keep that um, consistency and connection going. Though for this 21-year-old, simply being in his community again is good enough. I'm just happy to be back in general. As for Gunyo, his to-do list for when he returns is short and sweet. Say hi to my cousin Fred and my other cousins and my family, my friends. More and more people are returning to a city that is still getting back up and running. And they're also returning to thick smoke. A reminder that Yellowknife remains under an evacuation alert. Julia Wong, CBC News, Yellowknife.